Okay, what I have here is a 1976 Cadillac limousine. It's the extended wheelbase. It's got the 500 cubic inch motor. Um, I don't know, I guess it's about two feet longer than a regular Cadillac. Um, let me open the rear door for you. This is what it's like in the back. It's fit for a king back here. It has these flip down seats. Flip the seats down. Jump seats. Or you can put them up and you get a lot of leg room for the passengers. Um, it's got the power divider. Goes up and down. Door shut nice. Here's the front door. The interior is actually in decent shape on this car. Now let me have a seat in it. Show you around. It's got everything tilt wheel, steer, power, steer, and power steering. It has uh, the radio front and back. Once again, it's got the power divider. Here's the visors, climate control. Let me give you a look at the car. Let me give you a shot at the base of the doors. The rockers. Shot at the front door. Here's the base of the doors. The rockers. I kind of had a new top put on it several years ago. The car did have an engine fire. Um, you can see the damage that was done. There was a fire on the engine. It actually burnt out the passenger side front tire. There's a remnants of it. It's a pretty exciting day for my parents from what I heard. So it does, the car does need some work. It needs some wiring work in the engine compartment. The engine does still run. We got the engine running. We just hot wired the engine. Um, so the engine does run, but it won't stay running. It's either the carburetor or the fuel pump got burnt out, but the engine is still intact. The transmission was rebuilt at some point. Anything else, Dad, you want to add? Uh, it may have belonged to a movie star. Which movie star was that? Possibly Lee Remick, but it isn't proven. Also included with the sale is a whole shed full of miscellaneous parts. Wiring harnesses, lights, bumper pieces, uh, all kinds of stuff. Okay, here's a look under the hood. As you can see on the driver's side, uh, there wasn't much damage. Um, actually no damage on the driver's side but if you step over to the passenger side uh, this is where the fire occurred I don't know if a squirrel or a rodent got in there chewed on some wires it actually caught on fire while my when my dad started it up um, you can see it burnt out uh, part of the wiring harness we changed the um, spark plug wires and I ran a hot wire um, just to get the thing started. Um, we were successful in getting the engine running, but it won't stay running. It's either the carburetor or the fuel pump. Um, but if you stand there and spray, dump gas down the carburetor, the, the motor will stay running. Um, Alright, good enough.